Uh, yeah, good day. Now, the Fred Dagg Careers Advisory Bureau has probably already done enough, I think, to secure its place in the social history of this once great nation. But I think this report I have before me as I speak to you now is probably among its more lasting achievements. In essence, it outlines how to go about the business of being a real estate agent. And as things stand at the moment in this town, if you're not a real estate agent, then you're being a fool to yourself and a burden to others. Like so many other jobs in this wonderful society of ours, the basic function of the real estate agent is to increase the price of something without actually producing anything. And as a result, it has a fair bit to do with communication, terminology and calling a spade a delightfully bucolic colonial winner facing north and offering a unique opportunity to the handyman. If you're going to enter the real estate field, you will of course need to acquire a certain physical appearance, which I won't bore you with here, but it's fair to say if you've got gold teeth and laugh lines round your pockets, then you're through to the semis without dropping a set. But the main thing to master is of course the vernacular, and basically this works as follows. There are three types of house, glorious, commanding, majestic, split-level, ultra-modern dream homes, which are built on cliff faces, private bush-clad angle nooks, which are built down holes, and very affordable solid family homes in much sought-after areas, which are old gun emplacements with awnings. A cottage is a caravan with the wheels taken off. A panoramic, breathtaking, spectacular or magnificent view is an indication that the house has windows. And if the view is unique, of course, there's probably only one window. Now, I'll just leave you to think about this, talk it over with the better half, the hubby or the little woman, and try and get back to me by tomorrow. Now here's a little something you really might be interested in. I have here the perfect advertisement for a house. So I'll just go through it with you. I'll point out some of the more salient and interesting features to you. So here we go, mind the step. Owner transferred reluctantly instructs us to sell, means the house is for sale. Genuine reason for selling, means the house is for sale. Rarely can we offer, means the house is for sale. Superbly presented, delightful charmer, doesn't really mean anything but it's probably still for sale. Most attractive, immaculate home of character in prime dress circle position means that the thing that's for sale is a house. Unusual design with interesting and intriguing solidly built stairs means the stairs are in the wrong place. Huge, spacious, generous lounge commands this well-serviced executive residence means the rest of the house is a rabbit warren with rooms like cupboards. Magnificent, well-proportioned, large, convenient block with exquisite low-maintenance garden means there's no view but one of the trees had a flower on it the day we were up there. Privacy, taste, charm, space, freedom, quiet, away from it all location in much sought after cul-de-sac situation means it's not only built down a hole, it's built at the very far end of the hole. A must for you artists, sculptors and potters means that only an idiot would consider actually living in it. Two to three bedrooms with possible in-law accommodation means it's got two bedrooms and a tool shed. Great buy, ring early for this one, inspection a must, price to sell, new listing, see this one now, all offers considered, good value, be quick, inspection by appointment only, view today, this one can't last, sole agents, today's best buy, means the house is still for sale, and if ever you see investment opportunity written in the paper, turn away very quickly and have a crack at the crossword. I'll get out of your way now, I'll see you later.